Good morning, movers. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. It's Tracy Steen. How about a full on cardio hit workout today? That's what's coming up. Your format's gonna be 40 seconds of work, only 10 seconds to transition. So it's gonna be quick. If you just need an extra 40 seconds to recover, feel free to just, you know, tap it out or hit a box or shuffle, whatever you need to make it through. This is gonna be no repeat. Again, fun, fast, quick transitions. There's no equipment required in the workout today, so it's great to do anywhere, anytime, any place. Hey, if you're looking to join our membership this fall for more accountability structure programming, click the card at the top of the screen and take a look. All right, let's do this and move daily. intensity intervals on the watch. Let's get those legs warmed up a little bit here just to make sure they're not cold going into this jump session. Of course, you could hit low impact as well. I won't have time to show you all of the low impact moves. If you've been following me long enough, you probably have a good idea of how to modify yourself. Let's take it wide, but I'll try. Good. Bring the baseline back around again. Yeah, a lot of strength this last week for me, so I needed just to hit that cardio, which is why we threw this guy in there. Should be a good sweat sash. I got my shorts on, hair is up. You know it's gonna be work. Let's touch our toes here. Two more here. I'm gonna take it side to side in a low side lunge. Stay up tall if you can't get down this low. And heel is flexed, stretching into my Achilles and calf. A little here. Good. And one more here. Good. Some arm circles right here, big stretch out. Switch directions. Let's go to a squat roundhouse. So up and around to warm that ball and socket up in our hip. Last one here. And heel digs right here. Sweep, alternating sides. Last one here. All right, and let's just reach down low, up to tiptoes, and we'll finish with 10 in the center here. Then we'll get started. Last one here. All right, no repeat. Here's your first four exercises. Starting with a jack and a jab. All right, there's your low impact if you need. Two jacks, two jabs, let's work. All right, butt kick and punch. If you don't need the break, you're here.
to side shuffle. All right, right here, nice and low. Come on, with a low squat walk. Drop it low. Scissors, two jacks, tap for four. All right, then two jacks, that's your mod. One, two, three, four, one, two. Frog squat. You can just mod a frog squat for your low impact. Three hops, one, two, three, and low. One, two, three, and low. Low squat, elbow to knee, low impact here, okay. Spring heart rate down slightly, then we'll kick it back up. Drop it low, switch sides, low and switch, good. Here's your low impact. Quick sip for me. Add that little hop. You're here and here.
Mobiles is a side to side jump. Okay, you can high knee to mod if you like. Nice low impact. All right, side to side, you're here. Let's go. You're gonna take it into a reverse lunge hop, reverse lunge high knee to mod. I'll call halfway on the leg, then we'll switch. Drop it low. Here, hop, here. Last one here. Switch your legs and low. Fast or slow as you want to mod. Ready? And work here. Here. Let's go. Center squat, side jack, here's your mod. You guys will turn, alternate sides. Center jack, or squat, sorry, center squat, side jack.
All right, we're gonna stay in that lateral plane with some mini ice skaters. There's a low impact. <laughs> there we go, and. This hurts your knees, you're just here, okay? Take it into that full ice skater. Mod here. All right. Big jumps if you can. Land it. Stick it. Two jacks, we're here, four shuffles. Okay, you're gonna shuffle the length of the mat. Jacket here, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four. Squat, diagonal hop, tap to mod. Here we go, center squat, diagonal hop. Squat, diagonal hop. Traveling high knees to mod, front and back, hop it up. down slightly here. Of course you can add a hop onto this to make it more challenging. Switch sides.
original side, you're gonna add a squat lunge knee this time. I'll call half into your squat, squat, lunge, knee, squat, lunge, knee. Reach your hip back over that lunge. All right, you're gonna switch sides. We added a hop to our cardio kick last time. This time, we're not going to. Mod will be the same as last time though. All right, no hop here. down a bit. I'm buzzing. Here we go. two T-Rex squats, good sip, two seals, one, two, drop it low, and low, Jump this up. That's your mod. Doing well. Here we go. board or three hops. We did this this week as well. So fun. Board and hops. One, two, three, and board and hop. Don't need the rest. 
I need the break. Holy Hannah, walk it out. Let's work. We're traveling with a duck under punch, duck tap, and punch for four, little hop if you can. Here we go. Duck, one, two, three, now back for four, four, three, two, and one, and front. lunge hops, curtsy lunge mod or reverse lunge. Here we go. Low, low. Single, single, double here. Single, double here. Out the arms. Front kick. Now we're going to add on to this. Two knee, front kick, and switch. Here we go. One, two, and kick. Switch. One, two, and kick. Thank you. 
Okay, last exercise, are you ready? In and out squat jump. Oh, good, 30 minute hit. Here we go, you're here, and wide. That's it, stay low. Halfway, stay in the pocket with me if you can. Deep breath in. Control your breathing, let's go. Last 10 seconds. It's rough. I got you, three, two, one and done. Walk it out, it's you. And moved daily. Holy Hannah. Walk it out. Let's bring our heart rates down. Before we even to stretch, you definitely want to bring it down to where it was at warm up, okay? Before you get down. A good way to do that is that box breathing. I'm going to do that in a few seconds here. I'm going to do a few rounds, okay? You can join me. You can sit, you can stand. I just want the heart rate to come down. I'm showing you my protocol, what I would do here. I can't just go right into stretching. Heart rate's too elevated. Stop the timer, Trace. Keep walking. Okay. Now we're gonna breathe. Follow my hands. Inhale for four seconds, hold for four. Exhale for four, hold for four. Down regulating your breathing here. Here we go, deep breath in. Hold. Exhale here. Hold. Now follow my hands. One more time, in. Out. Good. Don't you feel good? Me too. All standing workout, let's do an all standing stretch. Grab your shoelaces, knees together, hips forward. Was cardio craze. <laughs> Maybe I'll call it that. It was tough. I am super sweaty. Uh, felt really good though. Like this afterglow, these endorphins. <laughs> don't you just wish you could bottle that up and just keep that for when you don't feel motivated? Because this feels so good. Unreal, really. Uh, that down regulated breathing, let's go back to that. I, you know, box breathing is something that a lot of athletes do and a lot of trainers actually will have their athletes, I'm gonna to go to a side stretch here, do that in between rounds of whatever thing they're competing in. So like boxers will come off after boxing around and do this down regulated breathing to bring their cortisol levels down, to come back to homeostasis. And the box breathing and paying attention to the breath, switch sides, is kind of the best way to do that. I found that really hard to hold the four. If I was not maybe counting and focusing on leading, I think I maybe would have done better, but my heart rate's not down quite enough probably to do that. It's at 122 right now, so that's about my warm up uh, rate. But yeah, I probably could have waited even another three or four minutes. Let's go into this four stretch here. But what a wonderful, way to bring yourself into the moment, right? And to, again, tell the sympathetic nervous system that life is okay, that we're fine, we've got this, and to bring that parasympathetic nervous system back on board 
that can bring us back into that state of homeostasis, which is important. Uh, especially as we try to reduce the cortisol levels because this was a high cortisol inducing workout. I talked about this the other day because a lot of women in their 50s, 60s, 70s ask me this. They say, I've heard that we shouldn't have workouts that are so, you know, cortisol induced crossover. And upon research of my own and asking many specialists, what I've deduced is that if you are in a cortisol imbalance or if you're in a very stressful time of your life, indeed, that is not the ideal workout for you, right? Round up. Sometimes we think, oh, I'm just gonna work out the stress. But this stress is causing high cortisol and this is just going to exacerbate it. But if you're in a point of life where stress levels are low, there's no cortisol imbalance and you're feeling pretty good, from what other doctors and scientists say, and what I believe is true for myself, you gotta do your own due diligence though. I feel like this is good for me, okay? I'm not gonna say what's good for you. What's good for the goose ain't good for the gander sometimes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so these are my workouts, this is what I'm doing, and uh, you are welcome to follow, but always be the own, your Sherlock Holmes of your own, Sherlock Holmes of your own body, right? That's important. All right, oh, I feel wonderfully sweaty. Even the back of my hands are sweaty. Thanks for joining. I would do strength tomorrow. Click or tap there for a strength workout, and I'll see you in the next workout.